welcome to Saturday Music Machines. I make synthesizer demo tutorial and review videos aimed at beginners like myself. In this video I'm going to be looking at this. It's called the Pico Core. It's basically a lo-fi mangler based on the Raspberry Pi Pico. It's capable of holding 8 minutes of 8 bit 33 kilohertz monophonic samples. It's powered by a single AAA battery or powered by USB C. It can be tempo synced to the selectable BPM between 60 and 300. Samples mangling, mangled by beat sync effects such as stutter, re trigger gate, and tunneling. It comes loaded with real-time effects like resonant filter, time stretching, volume and wave folding. It's got a 128 step sequencer with recording and playback. You can save your sequences via the EEPROM for instant patch recall. Uh, you can also put your own firmware on it if you want, it's extremely hackable and you can also upload your own samples if you wish as well all through USB-C you can sync these with a pocket operator which is quite cool so the basics there are eight buttons and four knobs that can be used to manipulate the Pico core there are two outputs on one input so the outputs are here. We've got a headphone jack and a sync out. We've got a sync in here, top left. So the top left jack is for incoming trigger signals. So from a pocket operator in SYN1 mode. Um, so it sends out a trigger signal and audio signal which is quite neat. Uh, buttons on the device can be used to jump between samples and re-trigger audio in real time, which is quite a lot of fun actually. So yeah, I guess it is sort of like a pocket operator in itself. So press any of the eight buttons to jump to that relevant position in the sample. Uh, so you can re-trigger so re the sample. So you press and hold the button and you can press it in conjunction with another button to re-trigger an effect. Uh, the re-trigger speed is based on the position of the second button when pressed. So random effects can be added to the re-triggers such as speed, pitch, filter, envelopes or volume envelopes. So to actually start and stop the sequencer, you press the two leftmost buttons and the two rightmost buttons together that starts and stops it so apparently button mashing is encouraged <laughs> the rightmost knob is a filter volume knob that also controls the output level uh, the leftmost knob is the selector knob which can be which you can choose between eight different positions and each position changes a different pair of parameters uh, which can be changed using the middle knobs A and B. So we've got eight positions on here. So position one, um, if you use to use the A and B, so you change the sample and break you know, respectively. Uh, position two is a filter so you can stretch the audio. Position three is gates and gate probability. Position four, jump probability and re-trigger probability. Position five is tunnel probability and reverse probability, so that can get a bit crazy. Position six is the sequencer, so you can record and turn it on these two knobs. Uh, position seven is save and load. 
and position eight is the volume, fold and tempo. So, yeah. So sample changes, the sample being played, uh, it actually holds up, can actually hold up over a hundred samples. As I say, totaling eight minutes, that's quite good. Uh, break modifies all probabilities simultaneously using uh, varied easing functions. Filter is a resonant low pass filter that attenuates high frequencies. Uh, gate controls the amount of gate gating on the sample. Gate probability controls probability of gating. Uh, so there's quite a few to go through. Uh, yeah, it's quite a cool little device. So it comes, you can get it either pre-built or as a DIY kit. I always like to buy the kit because I like building the things myself. So you, as I say, you can sync these up with the uh, pocket operators. So PicoCore uses an audio click signal to sync and is fully compatible with sync signals coming from other devices. Let's say like the teenage engineering pocket operators. Um, the Pico car syncing operates at 2 ppqm, whatever that is, and has max input out voltages of 3 volts. So if you're interested in that. So yeah, it's um, quite a little neat device. Yeah. Here we go.